So on this first page of the template for website setup, um, this template is designed for you and it, I designed it for myself when I started doing website setups for people. And then I'm like, I can share this template with people and they can set themselves up. Won't that be great? <laughs> so some people do use it and they say they like it. So, so the live link, the live link of this, um, of, of this template, it'll all you always show you when I last updated it. Okay, so if you ever go to the live link, you'll see when, I, when it was last updated as far as the look and feel of the template. Okay, um, you're going to put your name, your best email, best contact information. The reason I have that, that was initially for me when I'm doing setups for people. So, but this is where it gets interesting. Um, you want to put in what email you, you use to brand yourself. So today we had a conversation with some people and they are branding themselves as Somerville Realty. Um, and so he, he wasn't sure, well, gee, should I use my EXP Realty email? Or should I use, I've got this other one, Craig at Somerville, SomervilleRealty.com. And I'm like, well, you know, one of the great things about EXP is we can brand ourselves the way you want. You want to be able to take your branding with you anywhere you go. So it's like, oh yeah, yeah. So, so you know, think about what email you want to use to brand yourself and promote your brand. So that's the email that you want to use. And then business phone number. I have a drop down menu here. What business phone number do you want to use to promote your business? And the reason I asked this question is because I want to know what number do you want on your website? So do you want your personal cell phone? That's what I have. Do you want your personal smart number that you're paying $25 a month for? Do you want to use this shared number that was assigned to you? I'm going to tell you no. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. <laughs> um, Google Voice number, your Ring Central number, or other type of number. Okay, so let's talk about the smart number. Um, when I share this file with you tomorrow, um, these will be in here, but I've got these links um, to support articles about what is the sm smart number, what does it do for you. Um, so your smart number, that you're assigned when you get your KV Core website is um, it's a shared number. And it's a shared number with the other people. If you're on a team, it's your team number. But if you're just an individual agent out there in your town with other scattered EXP agents around, it's a shared number in your region. And if you promote that phone number as your phone number, it's it's dangerous because it's a round robin and people are going to call and they're not going to get you. They're going to get somebody else because that is not your individual number. Okay. So the only reason you might maybe possibly consider using the smart number in any way is for the call capture text codes. Because if you create a text code that says, hello, <laughs> like text hello to this number, that particular code, if they type that in, you're going to get that lead. It's not going to go to anybody else because nobody in your region can also create that code. So, but it can still be dangerous. Your smart number is, I'm going to show you where you can find yours in a minute, but um, your smart number is not your Ring Central number. When you come into EXP, you are assigned a ring central number. It's usually like an 888 number or 800 number of some sort. That's your state broker main number and then you get an, ex an extension. So anyway, that's ring central. That's totally different. It has nothing to do with your KV Core website. So here I am on my KV Core dashboard and let's say I'm like, hmm, where is my smart number? <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, it's usually in this drop down right here. And this is not my personal smart number. I don't pay for a smart number extra. Um, a lot of people do because they want to use their smart number. Um, and that's great. I don't. So that's one place you can find it. The other place you can find it is if you go to lead engine and you go to call capture and you, um, and it says right here, your office smart number is. And then there's a whole explanation of what this number is. 
And you can see, you guys, all these call, capture text codes that I've done, okay? <laughs> and it works for me. Um, now, some reasons that you might have your own personal smart number is KB Core has an app that you can use on your phone. So you can actually use the CRM portion and follow up your leads on the app. And it'll tell you, now you gotta call this person, now you gotta call this person, and it's a dialer. And that's great. If you wanna use your dialer and go, that's great. But guess what? If you do that, that dialer is going to um, call from the smart number. And if somebody calls you back, I think that it could possibly go to somebody else. Now, it's supposed to be if you have that person's number in your KB core that it shouldn't go to somebody else, but it's possible that lead has registered on somebody else's KB core site. So it could possibly cause confusion. It's just something to, to know, okay? Um, in addition, um, you just don't have to worry at all about any confusion with the call capture numbers or you know, using the, the, the dialer. Um, and you know, there's some articles in the support um, area of KB Core that talks about how you can really leverage your smart number and make money and at, use it as a lead capture tool. So there you go. Some po people wanna invest in it, some people don't use, you decide. All right, next I wanna talk about the domain. I know you guys are like, when are you gonna get to the setup part? So well, I'm getting there. I have to go through this stuff because there's so much. This is KV Core for dum dums, you guys. I have to make sure you understand some stuff that no one ever told you before. Um, so let's talk about the domain. So you're assigned a domain, and those of you that have already signed up for EXP and you're in EXP, maybe you just signed up for your KV Core, or maybe you haven't even signed up for it yet. And just to remind you, just so I make sure it's in this video. The way that you do it is you go to your enterprise login, your EXP enterprise login, and then go to optional services and sign up. If you don't see it or you don't get it, just go into EXP World Tech Outpost and ask how to sign up. Um, it takes seven to 10 days, and then within seven to 10 days, you should get your login credentials to log into your KB Core account so that you can start setting it up. Okay, all right. So, but your domain, the domain that you get is usually, but not always, going to be your first and last name .exprealty.com. Now, what's cool is if you want to um, have it a little more customized, you can actually ask ES EXP to do that for you when you request it. I don't know if you can request it when you opt in for it, but if you just go into EXP World, you can. So like I brand myself as She Sells GR. If I wanted to, I could have EXP, real, EXP change this to She Sells GR for me. I have a, a husband and wife team and they use just one KB Core account and they are the Leonard Group .com. I have another husband and wife team, same thing. They have whatever their group name is. I can't remember it now, but so that is something to do at, at no charge. Okay, but typically this is what it's gonna be. You're just giving it unless you ask for something different. Okay, so that's one thing I wanna tell you. So that's, that's one way to do your domain. Um, the other way to do your domain is um, you could forward it. So let's say you go to um, godaddy.com. You go to GoDaddy and you purchase cool guy real estate, okay? purchase cool guy real estate and you set it up in GoDaddy to just forward to your EXP Realty website. You can do that. And what having a domain registered with Google that GoDaddy is going to cost you like 12 bucks a year in my template here that I have, I go on to explain to you about domain forwarding and how to forward it and why not to, you know, forward it without masking. Um, <laughs> and, um, and then I got some information about the vanity domain. So that's the third way that you could get a domain. And 
I have this article on this document that you'll have access by tomorrow. Um, you will be able to click on this and it'll tell you all about it. But if you want a vanity domain, let's say you did purchase, you know, cool guy real estate already, you could go to KB Core through the marketplace tab right here. And you could request a vanity domain. And that is, oh, here, by the way, here's your smart number add on if you wanted to purchase that personal smart number. It's 25 bucks a month. It's right here. Um, and can I see it? Where'd it go? Vanity domain. There it is. So there's vanity domain. You have to request it here. And it takes like 10 days for them to set that up, I think. Um, but what that's going to do, that is going to affect your SEO. So instead of what we mean by that, instead of this link showing sylviadana.experialty.com forward slash sell, it'll say she sells gr.com or coolguyrealestate.com forward slash sell. You know, and just all the other links that I could be creating and all my squeeze page links and all my link, um, landing page links and all that kind of stuff will have that vanity domain, not this EXP Realty one, okay? Um, and that's $10 a month. The difference between GoDaddy and a vanity. So I could go, if, let's say I never got a domain and I don't have, I never purchased the domain go, cool guy realestate.com. I never purchased that. I could just go to get this, my vanity domain, and sign up for it and purchase a domain through them and tell them what I want my domain to be. Okay? And I could work with them on it. Or I could just go to godaddy.com and purchase my domain there, or maybe I already have one from there. And then I tell KV Core when I'm setting up, I already have a domain. So, but I want that domain to be my vanity domain and they will help you get that set up. It's not, it's not hard. So that's it with domains. So you can three different types of domains of your, just use your EXP Realty domain, have a forwarding domain, have a vanity domain, totally up to you. Um, I'm somebody who I already had a lot of experience with WordPress websites and that kind of thing. And before I came into eXp, I already had this website called SheSellsGR.com. So I just updated it and rebranded it for eXp. Um, and it's SheSellsGR.com. And I have it links. I have links to, uh, uh, I have links to my KB Core website from my other website. So that's another way you could do it. I don't know, whatever floats your boat.